Thank you very much. Um, both to Tim and Ralph, um, thank you very much for inviting me to be here. My lords, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as High Commissioner for Trinidad and Tobago to the United Kingdom, which has given me accreditation to the Commonwealth for the last two and a half years, I have a profound appreciation for the importance of the Commonwealth of Nations. The Commonwealth as a body is undergoing a strategic shift set in motion by two key recent developments. First, the historic adoption of a Commonwealth Charter, and second, the adoption of a new Commonwealth Strategic Plan, agreed to in May of this year. With the introduction of the Commonwealth Charter and the adoption of the new Strategic Plan, I look forward to a strengthened and more focused approach to achieving the values and commitments of the Commonwealth particularly with regard to small states and vulnerable states. Trinidad and Tobago enjoys strong relations within the Commonwealth, due in major part to our oil and gas production. Trinidad and Tobago has earned a reputation as an excellent investment site for international businesses, most notably from the likes of the United Kingdom, Australia and Canada and has one of the highest growth rates and per capita incomes in Latin America and the Caribbean. We are therefore in a favorable position for engaging in enhanced commercial activity within the Commonwealth. For example, through the Canadian programs for Commonwealth Caribbean trade, investment and industrial cooperation, Trinidad and Tobago receives preferential access to, for its exports to Canada. The Commonwealth provides an essential platform for cooperation and discussion of developmental issues between member states. For the 12 Caribbean Commonwealth countries, this representation and cooperation in a multilateral forum affords us a significant voice among global leaders. As we strive to achieve Millennium Development Goals, such as improved infrastructure for healthcare, education and energy, the opportunities for inclusive partnership in trade and investment provided by our membership of the Commonwealth are indeed abundant. A key instrument to fostering trade and investment initiatives between the Caribbean and its wider Commonwealth partners is the Commonwealth Business Council. Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa echoed this sentiment as she described the organization as an invaluable tool for bringing together businessmen, entrepreneurs, investors, and financiers for the purpose of fostering economic partnerships. In examining the significance of a Commonwealth effect on trade and investment, numerous economic Analysts have concluded that there is an overall tendency for high levels of intra-commonwealth trade and investment, even when factors such as regional trade agreements or geographic proximity are taken into account. Intra-commonwealth investment flows have exceeded 180 billion US dollars, and its member states have seen over 200 billion US dollars worth of investment over the last 10 years. Ultimately, the Caribbean region cannot develop and diversify its economies in isolation. The Commonwealth provides an important framework for societal governance as well as best practices for business enterprise, significant elements for developing a stable and attractive investment platform. Commonwealth scholarships are significant to fostering an educated, innovative base of Caribbean students who will launch the new era of global socio-economic activities. The Commonwealth Scholarship and Fellowship Plan has awarded well over 1,000 postgraduate scholarships to Caribbean nationals since the 1960s. And one cannot overstate the significance these opportunities have made to the, to the development of the region. The Commonwealth also acts as a springboard for smaller states to lobby their causes and elicit real practical change. For instance, the government of Trinidad and Tobago lobbied at the 2009 Shogun 
in Port of Spain for a summit on non-communicable diseases and was able to secure the partnership of the CARICOM permanent missions to the United Nations in New York, as well as the World Health Organization, Pan American Health Organization. In 2010, a resolution on prevention and control of non-communicable diseases was adopted by consensus at the United Nations General Assembly. Trinidad and Tobago and, other, and the other islands of the Caribbean are nations of tremendous potential with significant natural resources, enhanced cooperation and commercial opportunities between other Commonwealth countries and the Caribbean will therefore be a true testament to the Commonwealth's function as a catalyst for global consensus building and a source of assistance for sustainable development. In closing, I wish to commend both Tim and Ralph for spearheading this initiative, which I am certain will result in enhanced trade and educational linkages across the Commonwealth. I thank you for your attention.